Maka's guides. <laughs> hey guys, Maka here, playing Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. These are all nine of the XOF patches available on the first mission, the Ground Zeroes mission. This is the main mission of this game. Upon completing all nine of them and then completing the mission, you will unlock an achievement and trophy called Insignia. Now for the first one, you can do this anywhere on the map. What you're going to want to do is get into a prone position and then start rolling around like a dog back and forth. After rolling around, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 times, you'll trigger this actually quite hilarious little cutscene here, which will unlock the first of nine patches. Again, you can do this anywhere at any time. You can leave this for last or, um, you know, do it in the middle of the mission whenever you want. But make sure that after that cutscene rolls, you do actually pick it up. It will fall next to you and you're going to have to hold that B button or whatever button it is on your console or controller setup to pick it up. Now from that exact location, this is exactly where we start the mission. Turn around 180 degrees and come up the mountain a little bit and follow the edge of the mountain. And in these bushes, you will find your second patch. It can be a little tough to see. So from now on, I will be using my night vision, which makes them glow a little bit. Uh, so I will be using night vision if it's necessary. Now, a little bit forward off the cliff. Now, the map rotates a lot, so keep that in mind when you're using the map and trying to figure out exactly where I am. There is a lot of map rotation. Um, so for the third one, basically a little bit in front of the landing zone, you will find this kind of large pit. And uh, inside this pit, you're going to just jump over. Go to the left-hand side. You'll see this kind of barrel along with a fire. Uh, and you will find an XOF patch right there on that rubble. Now there is a missable achievement called Rescue for Rescuing a Prisoner in this area. So you want to keep that in mind. There's a video on my page. Anyways, moving on to XOF patch number four. This one is inside the little prison camp that's uh, highlighted on your map here. This is basically one of your first objectives in the game. Now I have put all the guards to sleep using the tranquilizer. Once we open the gate, there might be two gates, but once we open the one gate from the map, you will find your fourth XOF patch. And now from this location, we're going to go straight to number five because it's really easy. Um, we're going to just turn around from that gate, run up the hill a little bit. Watch out. There is a guard here occasionally. Uh, he wanders up and down that hill. But once we get to this area, you're going to use your Y button or whatever it is again on your console and uh, hop on up onto this little toll booth and you will find your fifth patch on top of that toll booth. Now moving on a little bit further in the mission, you can do these again all at the beginning or you can do one of the rescues and then come back here later. But describing this place on the map, it can be a little hard. There's this little runway that meets with a curved road. Anyways, you saw it on the map and we're going to go for our sixth uh, patch. Now, I have used the binoculars to mark all of the targets that I could within reason. There is also a security camera. So, I suggest just doing exactly what I do and you won't really have many problems. But if we just make our way uh, down the road on the right hand side using this shade as cover watching out for that security camera. And then proning underneath this building. Just keep proning and you will find a small sewage drain. And that sewage drain will actually end up appearing on your map as a kind of secret passageway after you gain access into it. You will need to stand up and then crouch back into it. And once you're in it, uh, here I am struggling with the controls a little bit. You're going to just want to crawl all the way to the very end of this sewer. And you will find the XOF patch just sitting on the inside of the grate in front of me where that rat is. I used my uh, night vision just to kind of make it seen but it's right there now from this location uh, I'm not from the last patch you're gonna want to pull up your map if you want and you can use markers using the a button to you know make a little spot but we're gonna basically just work work our way around this little wall here watching out for guards making our way into this little facility and we'll easily find number seven uh, there's actually like almost no guards to worry about once we're in this building so again, once we're in this little building with the red door, there are multiple entries into this building and multiple ways to get to this area, but this is the fastest and easiest way from what I've played. Now, once we're in this area, watch out for the one guard. Sometimes he's standing somewhere a little different, but if you hop on top of this little container and hop onto the left-hand side, pull yourself up, and you will find that patch sitting right there on that, I believe, air conditioning unit. 
Now, moving on a little bit later in the mission, number eight. This is just outside of that door that I just entered. This is basically where the sewage drain is, although a little bit off to the side. Now, why I'm off to the side because there are a lot of enemies and I have put some to sleep. Notably, the most important one I'm going to point to right now is that guard up there. He always spotted me, so I took him out. And I also took out these two guards in front of me, although they're not as necessary. Now, once you make your way onto this helipad, uh, you can see exactly where my marker is. I put my marker almost like, like a foot away from the patch. So you're going to make your way. I'm right on the helipad right now. And if I'm looking away from patch number seven, it's to the left hand side of the helipad. Again, you can use your night vision to make it glow a little bit and pick it up. Now, moving on from patch number eight, we have our final patch number nine. This is just off of the helipad. Again, I'm going to rotate the map a little bit because your map will rotate a lot. So I want to make sure you know exactly where you are. But when you're facing these three rectangles, uh, which look like portables in front of you, uh, you'll want to basically go through this small hole in the fence. Behind me is that tower I just showed you where I took out the guard. And you will find these kind of power boxes next to these three uh, solid rectangles on your map. Now, to get inside, you will want to use the gate, use the uh, lock to lockpick, get inside, and I believe there's three or four units inside. On the left unit, once entering the door, there you go, on the left unit, hop up, and you will find your last patch. Now, that is nine out of nine, and usually the achievement would unlock just about now, but you will have to finish the mission and let a lot of cutscenes play in order for the achievement or trophy to unlock. Also, I do believe if you die, you do have to redo the patch because I got a patch died before a, another checkpoint and I had to get it again. So make sure that if you die or don't reach a checkpoint, you go and get that patch again. Hopefully that was helpful. If it was, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Hopefully you can watch a few of my videos and if you enjoy them, you can stick around. And hopefully I see you next time. Peace.